guys, I'm here today with a live reaction to 7 Deadly Sins, episode 18, guys. Let's jump right into this. Before, Actually, before I get into this video, I'm having a problem finding where to watch 7 Deadly Sins. Not necessarily where to watch it, but where to download episodes from. Due to the fact that, you know, Crunchyroll and the, you know, like the sites I use, you can't download animes from them. So I usually go on different anime sites, but I can't find any good anime downloading sites for Seven Deadly Sins or even any other anime that I'm reacting to. So if you guys can help me out and just let me know any sites that you guys know, that would be awesome. But you know what? Let's jump right into this. It's so they really kidnapped Elizabeth. But, uh, you, you know? Bro, there's gonna be so much action this episode. <laughs> Jericho! Like, I want Jericho to be on our side. Because I know Jericho should know, like, we're not bad. Like, the sins are not bad. She knows, bro. Bro, you guys are a complete contradiction. The shit that you guys want to do is not like, come on, man, a contradiction. You know what I mean? Contradiction much? Let's go. Let's fight. But they have more numbers than us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they got like even... You know what's great? Because like... Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Holy Knights. But still, they have, it's like they have four. We have two. I feel like if we had at least Diane, like she wasn't knocked out like she is right now, maybe things would have been a little bit different. But come on. We're close to finishing this season, actually. There's like, what? Four more ep no, six more episodes. Like, th I think it ends in episode 24, right? So we have six more episodes. And I'm getting off of school for summer break, so you know we're gonna get a lot of animes going. That is the plan. The pain and the pleasure all come together. There is no reason why. Oh, 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 oh. The pain and the pleasure all come together. There's no reason why. I wonder how this season's gonna end. You know what I'm feeling? I feel like these last few episodes, where we are, I feel like this is how the season's gonna end. Like, in our current state, in our current place, and in our current time. Like, these next six episodes, they're all going to revolt around, you know, this battle that's going on with the Sins trying to, you know, like, I feel like that's what it's going to be. I don't see no, nothing else happening, like a separate arc coming or anything like that. Like, they just opened this gate. I feel like everything is going to be connected to the finale. Hopefully, I mean, even if it ends in a cliffhanger, I was going to say, hopefully it doesn't end in a cliffhanger. But I don't care too much if it ends, like, if it ends like that way, because... We can always just watch season two. Oh, 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 the pain and the pleasure all come together. There's no reason why. I hate these headphones. They're always like falling out of my ear and stuff. My life in exchange. Oh my gosh, I don't like this title already. Life in exchange. <laughs> Look at the boy just looking like Gilea's brother, like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have a chance of winning, but we have to, like, you know, try our best. Gilea, come on. Oh, Jericho! Jericho's like, we're friends! 
friends, why are you doing this? Yeah, bro, you see, it's not even us, but they're like, the sins! It's the sins! Oh, that's Elizabeth's sister, right? They really have her locked up. Yo, I feel so bad for them because they did all of this and it's nothing. Look! Yeah, I saw, I saw he wasn't there. I was actually... Look at Jericho, yo! She got, like, messed up and... They're okay! <laughs> Wow, I feel so bad for Jericho now because she's the one who took all the pain. <laughs> Can you guys let her out? Man, I'm so mad Veronica really died. Are you kidding me right now? Like, we literally just saw her just so she can get killed. <sighs> we can't fight her. Elizabeth! You we didn't what what are you why are you talking to her like that? You know she's not gonna listen. Have, yo, Hulk is actually holding it down. I just wanna say that because Hulk has been putting up a fight. Yikes, she just killed Hawk. <laughs> Where did she put Hawk? Wow, Elizabeth is already- oh, I, I thought she was done. Oh, yes, she is! She's really unconscious! Gil Thunder. <laughs> he doesn't though! Wow! I mean, we know that is like...
Yeah, I knew that was nothing. Because, like, Galther is so strong. Look! That's his brother that he killed, right? Yep! No, oh no, that's Hendrickson! That's kind of scary how... Gother kid- Is that someone hanging? That's kind of scary though, how Gother can really mess with your head like this, like thinking you're in the past. That's that, that's messed up. Hendrickson just has this smug look on his face. So is that what it was? Jealousy? You All those hawks. Yeah, so he was jealous of Zaratas. Like cuz everyone's always talking about him like he's good, and he's stronger than you and all of that. Look at Ben and King! Oh my gosh, yo! Ben and King. The only opportunity he saw was killing his brother. You know, the thing is, I can't respect him because it's like, you killed your own brother because you were jealous of him. Yes, you did. Unless there's more to it. I want Gil Thunder to find out. That's, you see what I'm talking about? Galther's power is serious. The fact how she just made this guy into like so little. Made him so little. Was that it? Huh. Bro!
Exactly, what do you mean, bro? <laughs> you guys can even beat Zaratas. Not Zaratas, Dreyfus. Zaratas was the brother, right? Am I saying it right? Zaratas? Or Zaratas? Huh. Call of Inferno. Into the. Look, and people will die and they blame it on the sins. Nice move, Diane. Wow. All these holes in Deanne's body. I don't even know how the sin survived getting pierced like this. Who did that? King! Yo, it's over! It's over, bro! Hellbram is done! He's done. King, what type of question is that? King, why would you- What? I know you saw Hellbram using his magic to make that attack. Wait, what, bro? <laughs> How did he know- Wow. Yo, he's bringing up everything. Kill him, King. Wow, he's doing this effortlessly. Look at that, literally just like with a flick of his pinky and stuff. He's not even, bro, prepare to die. Hell bro, you were talking all this smack, man. That's his full form, like his true form. It's on. <laughs> King, I thought you were strong, man. No, I thought like King was on some next level. Like he's getting kind of destroyed right now. Wow.
isn't he the fairy king? So for him to... King, man! Come on! Wow! We need King to go hard! You wanna- you probably- don't make that face, King! Come on! Are you- Please tell me, like, that's not really what's going on and it's something else. Cause he came here and it's like, he's sad and stuff, like, what are you doing, King? Seven hundred year per oh, no, bro. What? <laughs> oh man, that was well executed. To see that King poured everything into protecting Diane and everyone there, rather than really on himself, goes to show you love. What people will do for love, you know? Like wow, wow, respect, yo. Because this whole time I was talking smack. I was only talking though, guys, because the way King came, and you know, King was talking, he was like, transform to your true self, because you know you can't really beat me like this. So I was like, yo, King's really strong. He's going to beat this guy easily, because why would you talk that way if you're going to like, you know, get beaten up yourself? Why would you tell him to go to his true form? Why would you give him all these pointers for you just to lose the battle? So for me to see King getting pummeled by this... Hellbram, I'm like, what's going on? Why are you losing right now? You came here so strong and now you look weak. You look little, you know? But then, like, everything, like, flips and you find out, like, he was just pouring all his magic in protecting Diane. And not only is that the case, his magic was getting stronger. He left for Hellbrand. Okay. All right, so Halbram did us messed up. Okay. Let's get the next episode. Let's get episode 19, yo. So that's what happened. Halbram did us bad. Like he betrayed us, like betrayed the fairies, all of them. Cuz you see in that like that point, everyone got cut like they were, it looks like they got their wings cut off or something or just cut in the back and all of that. That's pretty messed up though. Like, you betray everyone like that, but you never know what it takes to make someone do that. So let's see. Episode 19, guys, let's jump right into this. Except...
their past. What else needs to be revealed about Deanne and King? Like maybe how he fell for her? Oh, this is how they met. Oh, wow. Young DM, bro, no, man. Not like this. Because yeah. at first I'm like, what, what happened? Like, what else can you, like, so they're really going to go in depth with how they've met, how he fell for her. Oh, wow. Let's go. I'm hyped for this, actually. How he was protected. How he didn't really remember anything. I kind of don't want to see the opening. Like, I just... Like, certain episodes, like, you just don't want to see the opening. Even though the opening is really good. Like, I love this opening. But it's like, I just want to watch the episode. Oh, oh. The pain and the pleasure all come together. There's no reason why. Like, I just want to see the episode. Because, like, there's so much going on. Finding out, like, the flashback. Like, what happened between, you know, Deanne and King. Like, why he started liking her, their relationship. Also, the fact that, you know... Gil Thunder is with Dreyfus. I don't know. I feel like Dreyfus, like, I feel like what, you know, that Dark Nightmare ability that Galther got Dreyfus in? I don't know. I feel like it still made an impact. And I feel like he might tell Gil Thunder what truly happened. I hope he will have common decency to do that. Maybe he won't. And Gil Thunder will find out a different way. But I feel like, you know, Galther's attack got through him and he will say something. I feel like... So, like, he will expose the fact that he killed the father. And then we got Deanne, like I said, hurt right now. We got Meliodas Bond going to get, you know, Elizabeth. Hawk is in some different place. <laughs> they look like Hawk. old was Deanne here? So she was by herself. Where are your parents? That's sad. So does Deanne know that they were friends like when she was little? Is also a question.
You shouldn't trust people like that? Yeah. They can harm you. They were best friends. That looks like a pizza, that mushroom that he's on. So they were really close friends, but um, Helbram was the one who wanted to explore humans more. He wanted to explore more about humans and all of that, because he like they were so different, you know what I mean? They had more to them. Is she scared that he won't come back? But you're sick! He's like a doll compared to her. Look. He helped her. This goes to show you, you can trust humans then. Wait, what? Wow, it was a short time, but it was like a decade. <gasps> what the heck? And he's the one who gave her that outfit? Wow. <laughs> so if it's been a decade, it's taking him like 10 years to remember certain things. as well with King his whole thing with humans not all humans are bad you know what I mean His grandpa? He looks just like him! To never stop liking me.
What's this? Are we getting attacked? Oh, he's remembering. But that was Hellbrand right there. He's the one who attacked you. Hmm. What, to come back to her? Bro, hell, Bram! So Hellbrem took his body? So he realized how bad they were and now he hates them so much. He told you about the humans, and he had to see the hard way. But not all of the humans did it. I love the, kind, the parallels that are going on here. If you see me going too far, that's the promise!
Wow. Wow! Their wounds are healing. Look at that. Is Gother in there? Please tell me Gother's in there too. You're working with humans. Look at that. All that magic, and it's like you're still weak. destruction like I'm just looking like play. imagine like just someone who stayed home like they thought they would be safe and they, they just get destroyed in their house wait did he cut him in half No, he didn't. Okay. That one little cut did all that damage? Huh. Alright, we need to make sure he's dead this time. And that's when they started attacking them, taking their ring wings. Like that right there goes to show you, was it really worth it? The helmet. Man. The humans are so trash, yo. Cause it's like... So she doesn't remember anything. Bro, if she, I promise you, if she knew about her relationship with King, she would have loved, she would have loved, she will love King more than Meliodas, I can guarantee it. Cause that's, I'll talk on that after, you know. These guys are always so misinformed. Bro, look at King Arthur! Bro, I, I like this guy.
Yeah, true. Arthur, you still, you should have some crazy power, right? Because you're a king. He's saying you're too weak. Hellblaze wave. Was that Arthur? A counter? No, I, I, I had a feeling that's Meliodas. Cause like I was like, wait, the attack reflected. That's counter. That's my boy Meliodas's attack. So King Arthur Pen Dragon can do the same. What I was gonna say is, why Diane would love King more than Meliodas is. The reason why Diane really loves Meliodas is due to the fact that he was the one who stood up for her and protected her and was kind of like a friend to her before anyone else and that like that's the perception she has she doesn't remember anything about a king or anything like that she, i'm telling you it would change things greatly with how she feels about meliodas and king because he was there for her when she was young when she was like when she had no one he was there for her so like that's really important and if she she does remember that there will be a couple i can see that happening because Right, like, you know, like, I can see it. That's why, like, seeing this flashback, it really emphasized their relationship and why King feels so much about him. And even Helbram going into depth with him and why he was acting the way he was. And, like, that was King's best friend. And it's like, I love how they really played both sides here. Because, you see, the whole time King was bringing this ideology of stay away from humans, they're dangerous. And as he spent time with Deanne, he saw humans weren't as bad. Then his friend, Halbram, was someone who was like, yo, we need to associate with humans, right? Wait, cutsy. Oh, just, uh, you know, end of the episode. Then Halbram, on the other hand, was talking about, you know what? We need to communicate with these humans. We need to interact with them. They have all these technologies, all these things, right? And he comes to find out these humans like that the king has been telling them to avoid are just completely trash. When he interacted with them to get the helmet, which was supposed to be a present for king, they extracted their wings and all of that. They really defiled them. So it just goes to show you how like views kind of switched here, which is really interesting. I love how they handled that. Man, amazing episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will plan to be here with the reaction again very soon. Fear not. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you're amazing, yo. Peace!